Hey everyone, James here, and I want to explain a few things about projects in Fusion 360, how to import a mesh, how to set up a model for milling, and how to use stock in a setup. First thing you'll see when opening Fusion, you'll open to an empty project, and it's all ready for working. In the left panel, you can find your projects, you can save your projects, you can upload your projects into Fusion 360. Fusion saves things to the cloud, so you can access your files everywhere. As long as you can log in, you can access it. This is super helpful for me, because I need to access my files from home sometimes. So at the moment, I've been working on milling strategies for this awesome scale image of a life model. It's an OBJ mesh, so I'm going to import it into my workspace. To do this, select Insert Mesh and select OBJ and click Open. It'll import it straight into the project and then you can start modifying its orientation. Just to know when inserting mesh is. There might be some issues with positioning and there also might be some issues with scaling. So you want to keep an eye on that. So now that's ready to go, let's open up Manufacture and set up a milling operation. First things first, we have to create a setup. We do this by just clicking Setup and New Setup. For this operation where I'm working on milling, I want to start the milling operation right in the top left corner of the stock material. This is just usually a good reference, so when you're pairing it with your physical workspace with the stock, everything matches up and everything's going to be super accurate. So looking at the stock, it's too big, it's going to waste so much material. Real quick, I'm just going to make some stock box geometry for the shoulders and a separate piece for the head. I like to change the opacity of my stock just so I can see through it and it doesn't get in the way when I'm actually working. Next, I'm going to go back into Manufacture and then edit the setup that I've just previously worked on. And then I'm going to add those stock bodies that I've just created and choose From Solid. Now that I've added my stock to the setup, I'm going to need to move my origin. So I'm just going to put it right at the back of that head. I'm going to do that by changing my origin settings to selected points. And then I'm just going to select the vertex point on the top corner of that box. And also the final tip, you can also name those setups. Okay, now that I've finished my setup, I can start programming some milling operations. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. Leave me some comments. Anything I can do to make this better, really appreciate it. Have a great day.